In this Midjourney tutorial, I'll show you how to get the job ID of an image, and I'll also show you how to use that job ID to retrieve an old image and remaster it. Hi, it's Christian Heidorn from Tokenized AI, where I show you how to navigate the exciting new world of AI software. If you see value in this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It really makes a huge difference. All of the links and everything I mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description box below. And while you're there, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Welcome back. All right, so you might be wondering why do you even need the job ID of a particular image in Midjourney? Well, let's imagine that you wanted to continue working on an old image that you created a long time ago. And you created that image using version three of Midjourney's algorithm. Well, today you could actually take that old job and remaster it and see what these new experimental algorithms do with the old image that you created. And in that case, the easiest way to retrieve that old job and continue working on it is to do so by using the job ID. But so how do you actually get your hands on the job ID? Well, there's two ways of doing this. The first one and easiest one is doing it via Discord itself. However, if you actually have it right in front of you, it kind of defeats the purpose of having to sort of search for it. You've already got the job in front of you. Nevertheless, I'm going to show you how to do this anyway. So let's say I wanted to get the job ID from this particular job. What I would do is I would go to the right, click on the Add Reaction button, select the standard envelope, not some derivative of it, just the standard envelope. And this will tell the Midjourney bot, please send me all the details about this job in a DM. So if you check your DMs, you'll see that this job has now shown up within the chat history with the Midjourney bot. It includes the full prompt, it includes the job ID, and in this case, it even shows you the seed. It will only show you the seed if you are actually the owner of the original job. So uh, you will not be able to do this on images from other people. The other way to get the job ID and this is the one that you will usually use, especially if you've been creating hundreds and thousands of images in the official Midjourney Discord server in the newbie channels, is to use the Midjourney web app. So I'm not a big fan of the Midjourney web app for one particular reason, and it's because for some reason it's very, very buggy. I personally have also not fully understood how the web app categorizes or attaches images to different accounts. So for example, even though I'm doing all this on this under the same Midjourney account and Discord account. For some reason, it's attaching some images to my Discord server and some images to my actual account. So it's very, very odd. Now, that's not what we're here for, though. Let me quickly find the image that I just created. All right, so I found the images within the <laughs> in my main profile. So if I click on that image, let me just move myself to the right. So on a given page within the Midjourney web app for uh, one of your images, you'll want to search for this little three dot icon and you click on it. This opens up a context menu and then you go to copy job ID. Once you hit that, it copies the job ID to your clipboard. And in that case, you can go back to discord. And now what we would do is let's go back to a different channel and I'm going to move this all the way to the bottom. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to retrieve that job. And in order to do so, I enter show and it asks me for a job ID. I paste that job ID, hit enter. And it gives me exactly that old job ID of an upscale of an image that I created a long time ago. Now from here on out, I can do a bunch of things. I can upscale to the max, light upscale redo, better upscale redo. But the main reason why I would want to do this in the first place is I may want to remaster it. So let's look at what happens if I now remaster this with version four of the Midjourney algorithm. All right, it's almost done. Now, actually, I misspoke just now. This remaster does not regenerate the image with the uh, with version four of the Midjourney algorithm. Instead, what it does is remaster is a combination of the experimental algorithms test and creative. Um, and it will usually yield two variations, as you can see here. And they're just completely different from the original one. But you see, that's the kind of thing that you would want to do. Now, I said earlier, you can technically 
go to the community feed and copy the job ID of another user's image. But if you go back to mid discord and then try to show that job, discord tells you, or the mid journey bot tells you that you are not the owner of this job. So you cannot actually load it into your, into your chat history and continue working on that because you're not the owner. So there's no stealing that can go on. That's also why when you actually try to ask the mid journey bot to send you all of the details, it does not give you the seed because otherwise you would be able to completely replicate what somebody else has already done. So uh, despite the community aspect of mid journey and all of the sharing, there are limitations to what you can do and what you should be able to do. All right. So I hope you found this useful and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch the full length of this video. If you found it useful and enjoyed it, it would mean the world to me if you hit the like button. And if you would like to get notified the next time I release a new video, make sure you smash that subscribe button right under the screen. I'll see you next time and take care.